Okay, I figured I'd do a brief video here explaining uh, how this flasher works. Um, to the best of my knowledge anyhow, and uh, to the best of my ability, it's kind of hard to see down in here what's going on, but uh, essentially, let me see if I can get in here. Okay, cool. You've got basically, essentially a little clock motor. Uh, it's all gear, gear driven. Um, this uh, bottom wheel down here spins the fastest, and then from there it's a reduction. Um, you got cams right, right here. This is what you're looking at. This disc right here is the bottom cam, and then there's one right above it. Um, and those essentially, you can see there's a dip in it. Um, that is what drives the contacts over here. Um, as those roll, it uh, momentarily cuts contact while it makes contact with the other side here, if that makes any sense. Essentially, imagine the high-low pulse signal. Um, and from my previous video, you kind of you saw how that worked. So here, I'll, I'll turn it on. Um, I don't have the solenoids hooked up. Those wires are right here, so those are live 220, so i got to stay away from them. But eventually, you can see the cam going around. So as that's going around, it is pulsing these contactors. So you can see those pulsing back and forth. Bottom one touch, top one touch, bottom, top, bottom, top. So that essentially alternates the current flow through these wires. There's three wires here. Um, the red one, the one in the middle, that's the common. So one wire from each solenoid is hooked to that. And then the other two um, go to the remaining wires from each solenoid, one to each. Uh, the uh, orange one is for, for one, the blue is for the other. Um, so these are the two that are alternating right now. And then the common is, has always got uh, one side or the other. I don't know which one is hot and which one is neutral, but that doesn't matter too much here. But anyhow, um, there you can see, once again, them alternating. I really gotta be careful where I touch in here because I really don't want to get bit by 220. It hurts pretty bad. So. But I've um, got the dimmer switch here so I can slow, slow the pulse. See they're pulsing real slow. Then I can speed it up. This is a very fast high-low signal. This is as fast as it'll go right here. So, on my previous video when I was testing the dampers and solenoids, I had it on as slow as possible just because when they clank shut, they are really, really loud. Um, here, while we're here, I'll show you. I'll show you the innards of a solenoid. Right, let me turn this off. No sense of leaving it on. Um, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. All right, lower intake. So, you can see the damper there. Here's the solenoid. So, um, when 220 volts alternating current single phase is applied, it pulls up, snaps that shut. And there's a spring here that uh, holds the damper open. So if that spring is broken, it'll be closed all the time, uh, which does happen to some sirens where it sounds like they're only making one tone. Um, chances are the spring is broken. That happens quite often, I guess. Um, but yeah, just two wire hookup, very easy. Uh, C3, I've got them labeled here, common. Um, that's the common. So this one uh, here hooks up to C3 right there. It's very easy to wire. Um, and then on this one also, there's a common. So those are all three hooked up together. And then I've got number five that's hooked up by itself to number five. And then on the other solenoid, you got number four. So very, very, very simple system. Um, but uh, doesn't seem so simple if you don't know how it works. So. 
hopefully after this video you know um, you got line in um, and then your loads so each one of those is for for one solenoid and then the common is in the middle of them so hopefully you understand I know my methods of explaining are sometimes a bit a bit uh, hard to follow here but if you have any other questions just post a comment I'd be happy to make more videos so um, yeah thanks for watching